All right, welcome back to, you guessed it, because you're here and you know it's the big board. Uh, I don't know where I came up with that name. I guess I was looking at my uh, couple of maps for some modest game that wasn't even a monster and uh, thinking about what I was going to call a, a blog or a YouTube channel and I was like, well, this is kind of a big board, isn't it, when I'm playing and the next thing you know that's that's how the the name came about anyway welcome long introduction battles in the east volume one bagration stopped warsaw 1944 uh very interesting so far top of turn four i believe and Let's just see if we can zoom out. We are zoomed out. All right, so uh, I'm gonna move the camera around a little bit. I have some notes here and uh, it's been a very busy, distracting day today, but I wanted to capture some video before I play anymore. Otherwise, you know, I, I will literally forget what went down. Uh, opening turn, turn one, we had just general movement and advance to the positions. If you go to the positions that the Axis were in, uh, there was a big gap here in the middle, and then there was a line of Germans along the Vestula and three armies uh, of the Soviets, the 69th, the 8th Guard, 1st Polish, and 2nd Tank uh, armies were situated there, and then up along here, along this Angle this uh, section here. We had 28th, 65th, I believe that is, and then all the way up the top, I think that's 48th up there. Uh, and so, a little tentative uh, start by me, except with uh, second tank, which I uh, was particularly aggressive with, and in turn three, paid the price for that. Uh, well, part of turn two and, and part of turn turn three paid the price for that. Uh, so not a lot of attacking, but the Germans attacked in turn one uh, and uh, were looking for cheap shots, basically at uh, un under under strength stacks, and took those shots. One of the things with this game, it's interesting, is you, if you can get into a combat roughly two to one or thereabouts with just the raw odds, I think you're in a good position then to, with modifiers, because we've got armor modifier, so that'd be a plus one column. And then we would, uh, if we had uh, combined arms, we had some mech with them, uh, we could pick up uh, a mod there. And then, uh, and also if we had, if it, if it was a non-mechanized uh, formation, we could uh, get that, uh, uh, combined arms benefit as well by having uh, two or more of the regiments from a given division available. And then that gives you some mods. You can Each game or each volume is specific. But for the Germans, for instance, if I've got a Panzer uh, division or Panzer uh, Grenadier motorized formation, I will get two shifts to the right for that. Uh, a German infantry division will get nothing. They'll get one shift to the left on defense. And a Soviet army or mech or I guess that's a guard formation, guard corps, will get one to the right. So they don't get as many benefits for being uh, combined arms as as the uh, Germans do, but they do receive something. So for the, for the Axis player, you can easily pick up uh, three shifts to the right uh, just right there. Now, if you add in... A leader. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a one to the right there. And then uh, if you need more, you can use uh, your headquarters, another two to the right. So all of a sudden, if, if it was an important attack and you wanted to use up all of those uh, those benefits, because these are only available, uh, you know, what per one at one per attack, basically not one per attack. Sorry, you can use them once in the turn. So uh, you've got to choose where you're going to apply these a these assets. Uh, there's also air support available, which you roll for every turn. And so for the last two turns, the Germans have actually picked up the air here, uh, which has been very helpful. Uh, so it's quite reasonable to expect to be able to get, uh, if you start at a roughly two to one attack, to, to end up sitting in the five or six to one column, 
potentially even the 701 coal. Now, of course, the chance is, the problem is with this uh, CRT is that you have this, uh, well, it's a 1D6 based uh, set of results. I'll try and hold this here. You can see that even at five to one, six to one, and seven to one, in fact, all the way up to eight to one, you are gonna face the potential of losses or retreats. So, uh, you know, the number to the left is typical is the attacker's result. Number to the right is the defender's result. And uh, on a six to one, and we roll a three, we would see a one, two. And that would mean, and I think I've talked through this before, but uh, it would it's either one step loss or a retreat for the attacker. And uh, they, they, they choose first. And then the defender, they could they can choose to take losses and or step uh, uh, retreats. So they might take one step loss and retreat, or they might take two step losses. And then if the if the Germans retreated, they could actually advance into the hex that the Germans vacated. So there's some there's some choices here to be made about how you uh, consume the results that you're given from the CRT. So very difficult to have a risk free combat unless you are in the 10 to 1 column. <laughs> so anyway, so with all that in mind, uh, we got through the first turn, second turn. Uh, we had, uh, now of course, you can keep in mind that various headquarters at various times have attack supply in this particular battle. And it's very difficult for the Soviets in this battle because they've got a, a steadily degrading uh, supply, attack supply capability. And every, every turn, a core or an army, I should say, I think it is, uh, are going to lose are going to lose their attack supply and move to general supply, which just means that uh, they get their full movement rate, but they're going to attack at half strength. So and this all starts to sort of compound effect on the Soviet ability to fight. Really needs to be thought through way more carefully than I have. Uh, and uh, and uh, if you want to be successful as the Soviets, and I'm really trying hard here and not getting very far with them because I've not done a good job of managing my supply. Nevertheless, uh, second tank uh, had no effective attacks on the second turn, which is a real shame. And um, they, forced a retreat, uh, they forced a retreat on the uh, 48th uh, Army. Was, uh, they, they did some attacks and, and were forced to retreat. Uh, the Axis used uh, attacked second tank uh, in this area here and uh, forced a step loss and two step retreat. 19th uh, was attacked and the guard cav uh, was forced to retreat. So uh, the rest of, and the rest of the forces for for the Germans just slowly pulled back. I was expecting to have to pull back here, but these attacks by uh, 69th petered out and really went nowhere, could not. Could not crack, could not crack the code here to uh, try and get this sort of penetration up this flank of the Vistula. So it's it's hard going for the Soviets right now, and I'm a, a little concerned that they're uh, they're going to they're not going to be successful with this uh, this particular battle. Uh, turn three, uh, the Polish uh, got the, got their game on. Uh, however, Modal intervened and forced a, what was uh, in, what ended up being a, a, a good attack all the way down to a two to one, and the, the Polish were lucky to uh, achieve just an engaged result. But uh, then the eighth guard kicked in, second tank kicked in. Uh, we killed off uh, a total now of three units of the Germans and have lost at least uh, six steps there. Uh, plus one or two as that you can see floating around here on the board. And uh, 47th tried to do some attacks. They didn't go very well. And uh, the Germans are, you know, holding the line, pulling back a couple of hexes, holding the line, pulling back a couple of hexes. So, and where possible in this area here, there's a concentration of Oh, we've now the sun's come out and we've got all shade and shadow and oh, it's terrible. Uh, let me see if I can adjust the angle here and this might help a little bit. I'm not sure. Sorry about the light, guys. I, you know, I'm in this place and I just, it is what it is. Uh, in the dark <laughs> is armor and there's some armor over here. I had uh, concentrated this here as fire brigades to, let me see if I can zoom in and that'll help. Maybe move out of the shade. 
or into the shade, I should say. Anyway, I, I concentrated most of the armor here and we have been using 3rd SS and 4th SS here as fire brigades and they really pounded on uh, 47th Army's forces here and started to beat up on 2nd uh, Tank. That's all that's left of 2nd Tank other than a few guys across the river uh, that are uh, down here. Down in this section. They've actually done... A, 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 we haven't lost too much. I shouldn't say this is all that's left. We are just spread out a little bit and in fact we're going to be out of attack supply. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, we're not. We're good. We're in good shape. I thought I made a mistake there. I was going to have to pull them back one hex. But uh, so that that's kind of situation and this is a tough battle for both sides. Uh, there's a lot more opportunity for the Germans to be very aggressive than I would have expected looking at the setup and then looking at the the combat factors that the Germans have as I mentioned these this ability to have uh, you know pretty aggressive uh, column shifts has made the difference for them and for the Soviets you know it's a little it's a little trickier because you've got to get the mech into the battle and there ain't a lot of it and it's pretty concentrated in second tank and the rest of it is way up north with 48th and they have not really got their their act on and got into the game so to speak because they're not in attack supply and they're having challenges it's just it's just been hard to to get the odds given the terrain and and the closeness with the battle the, with the edge of the map and all that sort of stuff so so continues to be fun continues to be interesting I wanted to just do a quick video here so I could put a uh, put a stake in the ground so you know what sort of transpired let me I guess I can zoom out a little bit and you can see the full map of the, the full situation in the shadow and all the rest of it so there's that uh, so sorry about the wonkiness with the camera yikes but there you go that's the situation talk to you soon go roll some dice it's Thursday Get after it.